Hello everyone, I'm Polish Lover Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the final episode of this Polish campaign. So, what is going to happen in this final episode? Well, let me get you guys up to where I am. So, I've invaded the northeast portion of the North American continent. So, I invaded Newfoundland, and then I jumped to, of course, Labrador, that's a pretty normal spot to jump to, and then I invaded Quebec. But from Newfoundland, I also invaded Nova Scotia, in which cut off Halifax. Breaking out of this tile here is a pain in the butt. So, I eventually invaded through the port, around the port actually, and then took that little portion over, this little tiles, and then I actually had to navally invade once again into St. Lawrence, which was a pain in the butt. Regardless, we are here, and, well, the Americans aren't really defending the Canadian border, but the Americans are kind of defending their own border, which is kind of nice. Uh, but... What, how am I going to finish this last episode off? Well, I am figured I might as well do a time lapse. So, before we start the time lapse of me attempting to kill off America, which, let's double check their soldiers. Uh, Three million manpower, and they still have the defense homeland thing, probably modify national spirit somewhere. They'll get it eventually, which will make it more difficult for me. But they have between 80, only 80 to 145 divisions, which isn't that great. And they have that much manpower deployed. They have 25 to 39 ships, which isn't good for them at all. No carriers for America. And they have a massive air force still. So, and the last thing I do want to show you is national focuses. So, uh, I had to use console commands for this one, Revenge for Stolen Property, just because the Russian Federation can exist for this to actually be active. So, I had to use console commands for that. I will repolinizate reclaimed states once we control all the selected areas and get cores on them. But I do want to talk about this. So, Gates of Europe. Get a war goal against Russian Federation. Crush the Littles, basically crush the Benelux. End of the Franks, which is just owned by, you know, Russia. Uh, Last Bastion, so Iberia. Neutrality, Switzerland. Baltic Gate against Denmark, which I think we took out already. Develop a Baltic Fleet, which just gives you more output and dockyard construction speed for a year. Conquer the Baltic against Sweden, Finland, which I've already done. Just dominate Scandinavia, which... I have literally already done develop a European fleet, which does more of the dockyard output and stuff like that, and then cut off the lion's head against the UK and Ireland. But that's pretty much it for the entire part of this focus tree that we can do. Obviously, there are still one, two, three other paths that you can take, or technically four, but really only three paths. Three other paths with this history lies in your hand mod, but I wanted to let you know what was going on with that. I've finished up all of the focuses here, but let us begin the time lapse, and I'll see you in just a little bit.
Alright guys, so that was the campaign for the most part. Now I didn't expect the United States to take that long, to be honest with you, especially taking out the West, but it was what it was. And I didn't expect it to take so long to take out China, which obviously I gave to Japan, but it is what it is. And India looks really nice right now. Anyways, we have one last thing to do, and you know what? Since they're my puppet, I might as well integrate them anyways, because we want to see what a Create United Europe does. So, let's open up console commands and annex uh, ETA. There we go. And then we can create United Europe. Before I do that, I do want to say this, though. Uh, in the middle of this time lapse, I said that I had to annex Austra Australia or give it to the Soviet Union. I did do that, but I also do the same thing with South Africa. I gave that to, South to the Soviet Union as well. As well as Panama. So for some reason, Panama is considered a major power. And then you saw me take out the rest of the allies. And then we took out the USSR and her allies as well. Now, I didn't expect that the USSR would collapse that fast. I was expecting a lot bigger uh, war, to be honest with you. That collapsed a lot faster than I expected. And this front collapsed a little slower than I expected. The, the Russian-Soviet-French front. The Spanish, the Iberians were pretty much what I thought. But that was pretty fun. Let's go ahead and see what this does. We have 21 million manpower. That's a lot of manpower. Holy cow, that's a lot of manpower. The European Empire. We are a very beautiful blue. That is nice. How much, uh... We're still demobilizing. Unification of Europe. Uh, we've conquered all major powers in Europe. And once again, the opportunity to fulfill the dream of United Europe is nearly realized. Various experts, probably paid by the government, are already defining this current situation as the only way to bring a final peace in Europe and even in the world. Through such thoughts of many high-ranking experts, Pieter, Emperor Pieter Cisch, announced the creation of United Europe and described himself as the only man who can keep peace on Earth. Although there's a public or there is public dissatisfaction with this decision, the political police quickly find and destroy anti-European groups. Ah, very good. I know I gave uh, Japan a lot of territory, but I don't really care. Whatever. That looks really awesome. And we have a casual 53 million manpower on service by requirement. So, like I said. I hope you enjoyed this uh, campaign. I found it actually a lot of fun. It was very, very fun playing as a time-traveling Polish man who could save Poland and ultimately unite almost all of the continents of Africa, Europe, except for Turkey, and uh, North America. That was a lot of fun. And you know what? If you liked it, maybe consider downloading the mod for yourself. I'm not sponsored or anything, but if you like the series, consider checking out the mod. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this campaign, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow, of course, in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.